Good day, student. Today we're going to be talking about MEC7, um, the lab about density and specific gravity. Uh, this lab is provided by Department of Physics and Material Science, uh, the Faculty of Science, Chiang Mai University. So first of all, uh, when you talk about density, density is defined by the mass per volume. Uh, so you can see in this equation, this, the symbol for the density is generally rho, uh, this little Greek letter here, and uh, where m is mass, and V is the volume. So uh, density is, is defined by mass per volume. So in SI unit, it's going to be kilogram per meter cube. And uh, this is an intrinsic properties of the material, meaning if you pick a piece of material um, at a given temperature and pressure, it would have a constant rho. So uh, intrinsic property means uh, no matter how much you add the mass or the anything of a thing on top of it, it would have a constant value of such property, and density is an intrinsic property of a material. And specific, specific gravity is also another, another property that you could calculate from the density. So um, specific gravity is a density ratio compared to water's density. So uh, S, specific gravity, is the ratio between the density or rho of the, of the material divided by rho of the water. So rho of the water is 1 times 10 to negative 3 kilogram per meter cube. Um, you, if you want a precise value of this property, you need to look it up on the table. And uh, the lab is going to ask you to look it up. But approximately, it's going to be 1 times 10 to the uh, kilogram per uh, cubic meters. And naturally, once you divide rho by another rho, so uh, the units of these guys cancel. So specific gravity is unit less. And naturally, if you try to find a specific gravity of the water, it should be 1 because you're dividing rho w by rho w, right? OK, so let's go on to the experiment that we're going to be doing today. Um, experiment part 1, you do the direct measurement of the density. So how do you do that? Since you know the definition of density, need to know the mass and the volume of uh, the whatever you are trying to measure. So in this part, you're going to be measuring the dimension of the metros. Uh, so you're going to be given sort of stuff, and you're going to use uh, a vernier calliper in order to measure the size, uh, using those size to calculate the volume by multiplying each dimension all together. Uh, be careful, though, because the measurement on the micrometer is going to give you a uh, measure in centimeters. Uh, so to calculate rho in SI unit, you're going to have to convert uh, the volume into meters, the mass in kilogram. So um, again, you're going to be measuring the mass and measuring the volume. So first, measure the volume. Then uh, you can go to the scale, put it on the scale, and try to balance it. And whatever balance you get, you're going to get a mass. Again, once you measure the mass, it's going to be in grams. So be sure to convert it into kilo kilogram to get the SI unit of rho. So the experiment you're going to be doing is you're going to be measuring uh, the density of, of a metal piece that looks like this and another wood piece. So um, the, the measurement is simple, and it's very similar to one another. You measure the mass right here, and measure the volume. Uh, divide one over another, you get the rho. All right, experiment part two. You're going to be using uh, a bottle called specific gravity bottle. So what is a specific gravity bottle? So it's basically a bottle that is measured very precisely to have a fixed volume. So if you have the bottle, say uh, this one is 50 milligram, 50 milligram. So um, if you put 50 milligram of water in here and then stick a, uh, a cap on it, it would rinse uh, the rest of the water coming out. So whatever mass you have here, so each time you use this bottle, be sure to rinse the water all the way up here to, to the scale and then clap it with the, uh, with the cap. Careful though, it can break very easily. So once you, once you cap it, um, the water is going to spill out a little bit. Be sure, to, uh, be sure to dry it with a tissue paper and then, and then blow dry it a little bit every single time you use it. And from there, if you want to measure the, say, uh, the specific specific gravity of alcohol, what you can do is you get rid of whatever content is inside, fill it with alcohol. Then again, the volume here is going to be fixed. So you have a fixed volume. So if you want to calculate the uh, specific gravity, 
you divide the density of whatever materials you want to measure divided by uh, the density of the water. So um, then since the density is defined by mass per volume and uh, density of the water in the same given value, it's going to be uh, M, MW divided by V. So you can see that the V can cancel one another. So you get the mass. So whatever mass that you measure uh, inside of these two, uh, when it's completely full, uh, you would actually have uh, the the mass that's that's equivalent to the mass of the water that you put and and do the measurement earlier. So so from there you could could just calculate uh, specific gravity straightforwardly from this equation. So the experiment you're gonna have to be doing is finding the specific gravity of the alcohol and finding specific gravity of sand. So the sand part is going to be a little bit more complicated because you can't fully fill sand uh, inside of the specific gravity bottle. So what, you, what you're going to do is you're going to be filling uh, the sand uh, all the way um, about like a third of the flask and then fill the rest with the water. So what you're going to do is you want to measure the mass of the sand inside of this bottle first and then you fill it with the water. So then you can find the amount of water that's filled in uh, and then you can tell how much water mass is being replaced by the sand. So again, using the same principle, you fix the volume of the water uh, that is being replaced by the sand. So S can be calculated from the sand's mass divided by the water mass that was replaced by the sand. So uh, the principle is still similar and this is how you use the specific gravity bottle. So uh, the in this part, the calculation is going to get slightly complicated, but you can look it up on uh, the worksheet that you've given. So don't worry about it. Uh, at the end of the day, you're going to have the specific gravity of alcohol and the specific gravity of the sand. Third part, you're going to be using Archimedes' law. So Archimedes' law said uh, the buoyant force equals the weight of the water being replaced. So when, when you submerge uh, a material inside, uh, and then you hang a string on top of it. You're gonna have, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna feel that the the mass is slightly lighter. This is actually from the uh, the buoyant force. So si since the buoyant force is gonna be mg minus t, so uh, you can actually calculate s, which is specific um, gravity, by finding the ratio of the weight of the um, of the mass in the air divided by the buoyant force that you that you get. So you're going to be doing some measurement twice and uh, uh, ignore this part for now. So first of all, the experiment you're going to be doing is finding specific gravity of the metal piece and uh, specific gravity of the cork wood piece um, by using this method. So since you want to use the buoyant force uh, given in this diagram, you are going to be just measuring the weight of the little mass piece uh, on, on top of the scale, right? So you want to hang the mass piece on top of the scale uh, right in the air, and then that's going to give you the mg, right? Next question is what is fb? So the fb is going to be calculated through fb equals mg minus t. So the way you do that is you redo this measurement, but then you put, then you put water. So you submerge this guy into the water, and then you can see that the weight of this guy is going to be reduced. So that reduced weight can be can be measured by how much mass you put here. So uh, once you put enough mass to balance this guy, what you're going to know is you're going to know t. Okay. So you're going to know t. So once you know t, which is going to be less than mg, subtract it with mg, and from this free body diagram, you can tell that fb is mg minus t. So mg is from this measurement, and t is going to be from this measurement. Subtract this guy from that guy, and then you will get FB. So uh, calculate S by dividing MG by FB, right? And the second problem is going to be measuring the specific gravity of a cork wood piece. So you know that the cork wood piece is lighter than the water. So if you leave it in the water, it's just going to float. So what you're going to do is you're going to be hanging another piece of a mass hanger. So that gives a little more complicated equations. Uh, but then again, so uh, this weight right here, it's going to have a fixed weight and it's going to be copper. And uh, once you hang it, be sure to tie it all together, the wood piece and the, and the copper piece, and then, um, then measure the weight of these two guys uh, in the air, and then submerge them into the water. And once you submerge them into the water, you can, you can 
you can use this information to calculate FB, given this equation. Uh, again, once you do this, uh, this second measurement is going to give you T, and this first measurement is going to give you M1G plus M2G. So, uh, you can actually find the, the FB2 by measuring, by measuring this part, and FB1 by measuring uh, the, the submerged, uh, the weight part by itself. So this part is going to get a little bit more complicated. So basically, you're going to have to measure it, this thing like three, three or four times. So first of all, you want to measure the weight of the hanger by itself, then the weight of the hanger inside of the water, then the weight of the hanger plus the, the wooden piece, and then the weight of the hanger plus the wooden piece inside of the water. So you're going to get a few equations. But then again, by plucking in all of those measured value, you can calculate finally the uh the, the density of the um the specific gravity of the awkward all right so that will be all for the lab today so uh good luck and have fun